Hey everyone, I'm Hutch, and a lot of people think that it's really hard to be a practicing Catholic and a proud gay man, and they're right. So, I personally want to show you guys how I balance the two seemingly opposite aspects of who I am. This is going to be geared more towards LPGT Christians, but hey, if you find use in it, I'm very happy about that. So, pretty much everyone and their auntie know what the Magisterium of the Church thinks about same-sex sexual relationships. And guess what? Today we're not going to have to talk about that. We'll have a fight about that later on. However, we, the church and the gay community have something in common, and that is making sure that people of the LGBT community have a very healthy mental and emotional state. And this is what we're going to focus on. Now that sex is out of the picture, how do I see myself through the eyes of the Catholic Church and Catholic theology and still be a proud very healthy gay man. I must remember that I am wonderfully and fearfully made in the image of God, aka the Imago Dei. And this fact alone makes myself and every other creative person worthy of love, dignity, and respect. Second is knowing that my wild attraction to men, wanting to be in a relationship with them, care for them, love them, and, you know, do the nasty, is actually not a sin. I mean, this is at the point where a lot of rad trad Catholics will basically start arguing. Please, once again, this is not about sex. We are talking about my emotions here, so keep your hands away from the keyboard, please. The third part is understanding what true love really is and applying it so that you don't become prideful and vain at the same time. It's easy, I know, but I think it's possible. So when it comes to how the church understands love, true love, agape, phileo, etc., is willing the good of the other as other, which means, in essence, wanting what's best and good for the person without expecting anything in return, aka giving a gift, hoping to get a gift back, or being nice to someone because you want them to be nice to yourself. No, true love is, I'm gonna be nice to you, I'm gonna love you and care for you simply because of who you are. So now we're at the part where, how do we apply, apply this to myself? What is self-love in the true form? And that is willing the good for me. And the best for me is following the will of God, understanding what it is he wants in my life. He doesn't need anything. He's not trying to trick me or anything like that. He generally wants what is best for me. And in the end, that would be becoming a saint, becoming the man that he created me to be. And I think that applies to everyone. So. Where does that take us? Application, it would be making daily choices that are very good for you, such as saying no to food that you shouldn't eat or consuming too much alcohol. Hell, it's even saying no to letting out your inner hoe and going on rampage. The biggest irony that Christianity teaches is that life is not about you. And honestly, it kind of makes sense. If you understand the economy of love is that under is knowing that God will provide you everything that you need. And through that, you're supposed to give of yourself to others. And by giving of yourself to others, you learn God's love for you. And thus, once you find out, start feeling your worth, understanding your place in the world, you actually start loving yourself more because you know where you fit. You know who you are. And you know where you're supposed to do in life. And that creates the self-confidence, the self-esteem that a lot of people are actually looking for. It begins with the it begins the journey of finding out who am I and what am I supposed to do. What I'm doing personally is viewing myself as another person. In essence, what would I want my best friend to do? What would I want someone who I have a crush on to do? And not really been in a weird way, benefiting, but not for my own sake, but for the sake of fulfilling God's will. So, I push myself to go to the gym. I push myself to have healthier choices when it comes to food. And I push myself to treat others better. Because it's by treating others better, by viewing them as a Mago Dei and caring about them, that I start getting into that economy of love, where I start learning God's love for others because I love them and by loving them I understand how he views me and makes it makes me feel safe, secure, cared for, loved, and most importantly, wanted. As I said before, it's a struggle and some days you'll have good days and some days you'll have bad days, but I'll definitely keep you up in the loop on how my journey is going and I pray that your journey is going well because I never want anyone to feel like they're unwanted, unloved, and have no purpose 
because each of us do. Each of us are created in the image of God and you're beautiful and wonderful and you have a place here. So I hope you liked the video. Please leave a comment about your journey and your path in life. And if you like this video, leave a like and I will see you next time. Be blessed.